Congresswoman Maxine Waters went on MSNBC to talk about right-wing organizations training up in the hills. Congresswoman Waters, what, your, your reaction to um, Trump saying, if everything's <laughs> honest, everything's above board, to his point of view, he'll gladly accept the results of the country. But if not... Well, first of all, you can't trust anything that Donald Trump has to say. No matter if he loses, he's going to say uh, that it was fraud. Uh, he still has not accepted what happened in the last presidential election. And so we have to be very concerned about a former president of the United States talking about attacking his own country, uh, talking about perhaps a bloodbath, uh, talking about perhaps there's going to be trouble. He said it in so many different ways. We should take him seriously. Mm -hmm. This man does not believe in the Constitution. He wants to be a dictator. This is a dangerous human being. And we have to know what our country is going to do to protect us from him. Well, yes. No, well, uh, well yes. I know you can keep, yes. you can keep going for that's this whole right. hour, that's Congresswoman, right. on right. that. But speaking of the Constitution, Trump says in that in that time interview interview that he would not seek to overturn or ignore the Constitution's prohibition on a third term. So the American people believe that. Do you believe that? No. Absolutely not. As I said, you can't believe anything uh, that Donald Trump has to say. Donald Trump will do any and everything that he can possibly get away with. He does not at all support the Constitution of the United States of America. This is a man who we better be careful about. And I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask the Justice Department and I'm going to ask the president to tell us what they're going to do to protect this country against violence if he loses. I want to know about all of those right wing uh, organizations that he's connected with who are training up in the hills mm. somewhere and targeting, uh, you know, what communities they're going to attack. We need to know now, given that he's telling us that there's mm. going to be violence if he loses, we yeah. need to know what his plan is and how we're going to be protected. Now, obviously, she's just making up these comments and they're sticking with the party line of Donald Trump equals, you know, whatever dictator throughout history. But what's really ironic about this is Maxine Waters has been one of the leading voices when it comes to what we'll call mostly peaceful protest. So let's take a trip down memory lane and look at Maxine Waters' previous comments. If you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them. The people are going to turn on them, they're going to protest, they're going to uh, absolutely harass them until they decide that they're going to tell the president, no, I can't hang with you. Wow. What a moving evening this is. I am sitting here listening, watching, absorbing thinking about Ali, even though I never met him. And with this kind of inspiration, I will go and take Trump out tonight. <laughs> I would like to see the bill in Congress pass on police reform, but I know that the right wing, the racists are opposed to it, and I don't know what's going to happen to it, but I know this, we've got to stay in the street. You see this turnout here? You ain't seen nothing yet. Women are going to control their bodies no matter how they try and stop us. The hell with the Supreme Court. We will defy them. Women will be in control of their bodies. And if they think black women are intimidated or afraid, they got another thought coming. Black women will be out in droves. We will be out by the thousands. We will be out by the millions. We're going to make sure we fight for the right to control our own bodies. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Hello, young girls. We're fighting for you. I don't know what's happening in the 
try everything we can to overcome what they have done to us. And some people may be offended by what I'm about to say, but this is Auntie Maxine, and she gives herself permission to say what's in her heart. And I want black people, my people, to keep your ass at home and don't be out on the street and don't be socializing uh, because in the final analysis, you've got to take care of yourself because a lot of people out there don't care about you. Lastly, just as a reminder, Maxine Waters also says that if you question her, then you're a racist. As a member of Congress with people, you know, who evidently had a racist attitude mm -hmm. uh, and recently one even confronted me in a restaurant and they don't say racist things, but right. what they say is uh, they don't like something I said. They don't mm -hmm. like a position that I took. Uh, but you know that, you know, if you were not black, Right. Uh, you would not be approached that right. way. Right, they probably would not, right. They no. would think twice about mm -hmm. doing it. They think That's that right. they can get That's away right. with right. doing it with, with you and that That's you're right. black. Kujichagalia.